replacing the toilet today. If you uh, need a new toilet, got a leak in between the tank and the and the, and the uh, bowl. I think the bowl's actually cracked at the back. You didn't actually find a crack, but anyway, make a long story short, going to be replacing it. Uh, I got a low flow toilet. I'll be replacing it with here. One of the first things you want to make sure is your size considerations. And this is the part that can be tricky for some toilets, especially for some setups. Like this setup here, I've got a banjo uh, on the countertop, which means there's a height restriction. If I didn't have this extension piece, then it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter so much. We're going to want to make sure we turn our water off, which this one I've already got off. And we're going to want to vacuum out all the remaining water inside the tank with a wet dry vacuum. This makes it a lot easier. You can scoop it out with a cup, you can dump it into a bowl on the floor, but really just uh, vacuuming it out with a uh, wet dry vacuum, in my opinion, makes it so much easier. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. Here I've got my nice newly painted outlet. anything in the bowl you're going to want to get that too. I'll show you how we can do that here is with the water that's in the tank. You can just take it and dump it in the bowl since it's a, a gravity flush toilet. And that'll at least get most of it. And if it's uh, nasty water you may want to fill it up and do it again which is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to Fill this with water from the tub. You gotta manually flush this a couple times. And then I'll vacuum out what's left in there. It's time to clean out my wet dry vacuum anyway. I'll do it again. It's kind of a good tip for flushing the toilet this way. Uh, if, if you had an earthquake or something like that where you have no more water supply, you can grab water from a swimming pool or something like that. You flush your toilets this way. You know, if it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, Let's flush it down in the words of the astronaut. Okay. There we go. I did spill actually a bunch of water out here. But my wet dry vacuum will take care of that. Now again, we've got height considerations for this countertop, so we need to kind of make sure our new toilet is going to fit, and it's going to be close. It's it's like right there, uh, but minus the boxes, we should be good. Okay, you can do it either way. You can take out the old toilet, and you can put in just the bowl separate, and then add the tank, or you can put the tank and the bowl together first and then and then add the bowl. When you're replacing toilets is you definitely want to replace the wax ring. Uh, what I have here is an ex extra thick wax ring. Uh, there's some situations where you have tile installed or or something that's thicker where you may want to use two wax rings or using the jumbo wax ring sometimes can get you through that. If you use two wax rings you want to take out the inner insert of the second ring. You just pile the wax up on top, so it would be like a double decker of wax, and then you'll use the toilet to just squish it down over the horn. Some toilets are really bad about stickers. Uh, I found this brand is not is not too bad about it. I like this a little bit better for that reason. Some of them they just notoriously put stickers everywhere, 
and they're not very easy to get off. that on last. And here's our tank. Uh, if you want to change out your tank fill valve to a different style, if you have a preferred, preferred one, this would be the time to do it. This one comes with a little bit different style float. Different flush valve. It's not bad. Here we go. Looks all pretty straightforward. Got our handle and chain here. Gonna go ahead and hook up the flapper here. There we go. It's a giant, giant deal. Like they changed the size of the flush valve. I don't particularly like that too much. I like things to be consistent. When they start changing stuff, it's kind of like they want a uh, corner on the market for the future. So, anyway, oh well. Here's what it is. This one's going in. For the bottom here, we've got our tank to toilet gasket. We've got our bowl gaskets. This is kind of another reason I, I do like this brand is, is they, they give you everything. And not only that, they make it easy to line the, the parts up um, where everything goes. So it kind of came together with the gaskets and all. And I do like that. Here's our Tank to bowl gasket there. There's our directions here. And it's got a little pictogram. So now this particular toy that actually calls for putting these straight through and putting the bolt straight through. Recess on back on the ledge. This one we're just going to put through. I also like that these have Phillips head heads on. saw having the extra bolt in between it does mean if uh, if you ever need to replace these gaskets you're gonna have to get two different nuts out from in between there but no big deal If we need to, we can kind of come through with the uh, screwdriver just to hold it. Take it down just a quarter turn past tight. We got our little rocker deals on here. Ready to put our tank into place and mount our bolts up underneath. And 
and because this is all so straightforward, I might actually do this in place just to make it easier for that part of the head and do this separate.